local news that matters. This is CBS 17 News. We are learning more today about the man who was shot and killed in Durham on an I-85 exit ramp Sunday. Good evening, I'm Angela Taylor. And I'm Rod Carter. We know that Rashawn Cates was a violent interrupter for Bull City United, where he worked to stop crime in the community. CBS 17's Crystal Price is live for us tonight in Durham with more on how he is being remembered. Crystal. Yes, family and friends have set up a memorial for Rashawn Cates here on Hillendale Road as the community is mourning the loss of this violence interrupter who they say was working to make a change. This was the scene Sunday on I-85, where police say 34-year-old Rashawn Cates was shot and killed in broad daylight while exiting off the interstate. Police have still not said what led up to the shooting, but they said it did not appear random. No word on if anyone has been arrested. Cates was known in the community for working to prevent violence, as he was a coach for a youth basketball team at McDougal Terrace. He was also a violence interrupter for Bull City United, a program funded by the county and the city. His job was to help de-escalate situations and to prevent shootings. Tonight, we don't know if he was on the job when he was shot and killed. That is the danger that our Bull City United, you know, employees wake up every day and go into, you know, they dive headfirst into the core of what's happening in our streets. Durham City Councilman Leonardo Williams says this is a tough loss for the Durham community. While this man had a criminal past, friends say he had turned his life around and he was working to stop the violence. So anyone that criticizes the program from a from a distance, I, I say to them, you know, either you get out there and you take the chance of putting your life on the line, or just just back off. Williams also said the county and city need to make sure they are doing what they can to keep these Bull City United members safe. We have to take a deeper look at what safety parameters we're going to have in place for those folks that are out there on a regular basis every day in the heart, in the core of what's happening on our streets. And we reached out to Durham County and Bull City United for a comment, but we are still waiting to hear back. Reporting live in Durham, Crystal Price, CBS 17 News. All right, Crystal, thank you.